I don't feel super motivated to film tonight. I probably shouldn't tell you this. So this week there's a couple things I'm working on. Last night I did a shorts. Woohoo! That's, oh gosh, I haven't done a shorts in probably maybe three weeks. It's been a while, I feel like. So I drew a pansy under glass cloche, which is gonna tie into kind of a theme going forward. Yep, so that was fun to draw and um, make it into a short, so if you watched it, thank you so much. Then this week I really want to finish the drawing I started for my parents, I think two weeks ago. I didn't really touch it last week, um, so that's in the works. And I really want to get that done this week because next week I'm starting a challenge I signed up for, it's called alphabet superset i'll put the link uh, in the description it's an australian artist uh, put this challenge together and it looks super fun <laughs> i haven't done any art challenges in the last year i don't think nope i didn't do any yeah i didn't do anything last year for now i'm gonna keep working on my mom and dad's drawing and uh, go from there <laughs>
I've been working on preparing for a art challenge that was created by an Australian artist. I think he goes under the name Struthless on YouTube and um, Instagram. I'll put a link in the description below. And he came up with a six months challenge called Alphabet Superset. And it's basically creating one piece of artwork a week. Uh, there's some breaks in the schedule, which is great because you always need a recovery week uh, for such a long challenge. And so it's one uh, artwork a week on a given theme that you pick. You pick your own theme. You pick, so the constraints are your theme, your medium, the size of the art, and then how you're gonna post it. And then each week you create an artwork on a topic that starts with a, a letter from the alphabet. So week one is A, week two is B, and so forth. My theme is gonna be Green Academia. And if you don't know what that means, there's a decor um, trend that's called uh, dark academia. So it has to do, usually it's like a very moody, uh, you know, dark walls with some plants and maybe some antiques. It's very like uh, Victorian inspired. Um, I don't like things to be that dark. I like the dark academia aesthetics, but I feel maybe it's a little sometimes too Mm, too dark for me and like um, So green academia is kind of a twist on that. It's more um, There's more plants uh, you still have like the vintage aspect of it maybe in the elements of uh, Antiques and like objects. I don't know if I'm explaining this really in a very clear way Maybe I'll put some pictures on the screen so you get an idea of what I mean by green academia. Um, so basically every week I will be composing a drawing uh, in pen that will include a composition of plants, probably like terrariums or some object under glass collage. Um, and then some elements like, uh, you know, antlers, some animals, crystals, um, kind of as if I'm portraying a bookshelf with those decorative elements, if that makes sense. So this week is still the planning week and then drawing starts uh, next week. Well, for me, it's tomorrow, <laughs> but uh, so I'll keep you posted, of course. So the reason why I signed up for this uh, challenge alphabet superset is because I feel like it's, it's gonna allow me to create a body of work under a theme, uh, which is, you know, the basis to create a portfolio and then moving forward in creating this art career. So yeah, and I think it's gonna be really fun and we'll see where it takes me. Another challenge I'm thinking of participating in this fall We'll see how much time I have. Uh, October is the month of Inktober, uh, which is a challenge I've done before. That's a, now that's a daily drawing for, you know, every day in October. I think it started on Instagram. I'm not sure, but it's been going on for like 10 years. And, but there's also artist Furry Little Peach also is doing Peachtober at the same time. And I looked at both prompts, they were published yesterday uh, of Inktober and Peachtober and I'm kind of leaning towards participating in the Peach, Peachtober which Peachtober, <laughs> it's a mouthful um, isn't necessarily just uh, ink drawing as Inktober is but obviously I would participate using my own style and mediums It's gonna be a busy fall but I'm kind of excited because Participating in challenges really, like I said, helps you create a body of work and also it pushes you to improve your skills. So, yeah. 
And then I finished this uh, drawing for my parents, which is a slightly different version of my largest drawing. If you've seen the video, I made a video with that mm, a couple months ago, maybe. Uh, yeah, pretty happy how it turned out. I still need to kind of uh, finish up on some fine details. And uh, yeah, then I'll mail it over to them. So that's kind of what's going on this week. So I'm going to close the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you watch till the end. Let me know in the comments if you like to participate in our challenges if, or if you're planning on participating in challenges like, I don't know, even Alphabet Superset or Inktober or any other art challenge that's around. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Share the video with your friends and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye!